I get it now. I get it. I, I get cream blushes now. Hey guys, Miki here. Welcome back to another video. And if this is your first time coming across my channel, we get into all stuff, fashion, makeup, beauty, lifestyle, all that good stuff, but hashtag affordable because I'm all about affordability. And if that is something that you guys are interested in, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you join this little but growing family and let's hop right into the video. Okay, so as you can tell by the title of this video, we are gonna get into some new Fenty Beauty products, specifically the new Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blushes. Now she came out with um, new cream blushes and also some cream bronzers. I didn't pick up any other cream bronzers because I'm not really, how would you say, I don't really like cream bronzers, so I just didn't wanna go ahead and buy the cream bronzers. But also, I don't really use cream blushes, but if there was one thing I wanted to try out of the collection would have been these cream blushes, just because I want to play with them, test them out, see how they work. So I do believe that there are 10 shades of these cream blushes. I was able to pick up three shades. I got these from Sephora, which took quite a while to get to me because of everything going on with COVID-19 and shipping delays are all over the place. So these did take quite a while to get to me. Um, but I finally have them, so let's go ahead and try them out. Now, these cream blushes do retail for about $20 each, and I know for some that's quite steep for a beauty product, and then seeing that these items are fairly tiny, so let me just go ahead and pop this open so I can show you how small these actually are. Okay, so these are the cream blushes, and I mean, look how tiny this is. And for this to be $20, I know some people would be like, Mm, that's a little too much for a little too little in comparison to their powder bronzers And I feel that the cream bronzers are also the same size as the powder bronzers, but I mean There's definitely a size difference there But also you have to take into consideration that the powder bronzers and the cream bronzers are also a little bit more pricier than the cream blushes now some of you who are out there who are looking for a more affordable option because you're just like you know what i'm sorry sis i'm not spending twenty dollars on no cream blushes um an option that i can bring to you is uh, a drugstore option which is the milani uh cheek kiss blushes now these are not quite cream blushes um they're liquid blushes and i don't really know of that many um off the top of my head cream blushes from the drugstore i just happen to have these that i purchased a while ago and i feel like this is drugstore it's kind of that same type of liquid creamy concept and it's also blush so i figured um if anyone's looking for a cheaper option definitely check these out these are at the drugstore i feel like these are about eight or nine dollars but this video is all about reviewing these cream blushes and seeing if they're worth the hype if they're worth your money if they're worth even splurging to get any of these so let's jump right in and let's go ahead and do some swatches of the colors that i picked up all right, so like I said, I was able to pick up three shades and the three shades that I have are number six, Daiquiri Dip. Ooh, they kind of have like a little sweat happening on the uh, actual product. Let me just show you the color here. But this is number six, Daiquiri Dip. This is number seven, which is Drama Class, which is like a really bright purple i was super excited to get this one because of just because of the colors it was super bright and hopefully there's a good payoff now last but not least we have number 10 which is rose latte now as you saw some of these have some sweat buildup on it i'm thinking that is because it's it's really humid especially in my room right now it's gonna be real hard to try to film future videos because it's just gonna get real hot and real uncomfortable but it's, um, yeah, it's really hot in my room. And also, I feel like it's kind of normal with, you know, the heat and cream products. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dab some of this uh, off here. And it's only these two. The uh, purple one, Drama Class, does not have, it doesn't have that much sweat. The purple one, Drama Class, is not sweating as much as these two all right so let's go ahead and swatch these so first off we're going to swatch daiquiri dip which is like a i really like this color because it's got like a a fiery orange reddish color reminds me 
very much of just nice summery vibes so let's go ahead and swatch this one that's what it looks like on my finger let's go ahead and let's go ahead and swatch this here So you can see that the color is there, but it's something that you can definitely build up if you want it to. It's very soft, it's very smooth, it's not sticky at all. But yeah, it's a, it's a sheer coverage, something that you can build up, like I said. Um, but yeah, let me see if I can build it up a little bit more. There you go. Got a little bit more color there. And that is daiquiri dip all right so next up we're gonna swatch drama class which is this beautiful purple one now like i said as you can see this one isn't sweating as much as the other ones but yeah this one has like it's not sweating at all but we're gonna go ahead and swatch this one that's what it looks like on the finger Wow, that one is, that one's like barely there. And I actually like that. There was a um, purple, there was a purple blush that I had that came in like a BH Cosmetics blush set, which when I f first, like when I first got into makeup, I used to wear that one a lot and I thought that was really pretty. And I think that's what drew me to pick up this purple one because it kind of reminded me of that purple shade. and. This one, it's not as drastic as it looks in the pan, which I love even more because that means it's not gonna get too crazy. But let's go ahead and build it up a little bit more. Yeah, that is really pretty. And these kind of have like a sheen to it. Um, I'm hoping it's not gonna interfere with like the foundation once I put all my foundation and everything on it does kind of have a sheen to it um, but yeah that is drama class this one I really like I don't know which one I'm gonna go with for today's look but I really like that color all right so last but not least we have rose latte and this one I was really interested in because to me the color looks more like a bronzer if anything um, but I don't know, we'll go ahead and check it out because as we're seeing, a lot of these are, because as we're seeing, these are coming off super sheer. So it'll probably just give you that nice hint of flush to the face. That's what that looks like on my finger. Let's go ahead and put that on. Oh, that's nice. I feel like that would be like a nice lip color. Like a nice new lip color. Let's go ahead and build it up a little bit more. But that is Rose Latte. Now I do have to say, I am not really a cream blush wearer. So I don't really know if I really know the best way of uh, how to go about putting this on. Um, I have to be honest, I had to watch a couple of videos before um, trying to apply this just to get a feel of what would be the proper way to apply this so that I don't mess up um, my foundation underneath. I saw a lot of people going with brushes and that kind of helped to evenly, you know, move the product and some even went in with beauty sponges. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and come back and put on one of these cream blushes. All right, so I'm back with uh, a little bit more of my face completed. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just, I haven't set my face yet, just because I'm a little bit scared that if I put the powder on top of my face before I go in with the cream product, that might, that might cause a little hazard, you know? So I'm just gonna, before I set my uh, face you know I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my under eye concealer a little bit more 
and then um, go in with the blush. Now, what blush do I want to use? I think I want to. I think. Wow, I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. I really like uh, daiquiri dip, but I feel like this look requires a little rose latte. What are, what are we What are we thinking here? Daiquiri dip, rose latte. I think I want to go in with rose latte first. If I feel like I need to juice it up a little bit more, maybe I'll go in on top of it with daiquiri dip. So for the application now, I think I'm going to go ahead and apply it with a sponge. So I pick some of that up on the beauty sponge and just go ahead and can you see it? I feel like this is, I feel like I can see it, but it's very, it's very subtle, but I can see it. It's very cute. Now let's go in with a little bit more here. Okay, I hope it's not coming off too crazy in the camera, but in this mirror that I have right in front of me, this looks, it's really cute. It's really cute. <gasps> Let's go on to the other side. I just, I like to pack it on the apples on my cheeks first and then bring it up. That is, wow. That is so pretty. It's like, it's super natural and just gives you like a little flush with just one application. I don't know if it looks like much, but I can definitely see it with, you know, it's just looking in the mirror right in front of me. I can definitely, it's picking up. It's very natural, but there is, like a, a very faint flush of color. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. Wow. Wow. That's really pretty. I don't think I'm gonna go in with another color. I might have to save that for another look. I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit more. I like to bring my blush up towards my temples but that is really pretty I hope you guys can see that but it's just like the slightest faint um, amount of color is flushed very nicely and I don't know but I really like it it's just like it's very natural and I, the foundation that I'm wearing I feel like if you're not a person that goes in with um, setting powder because believe it or not not everybody uses setting powder to um, you know it could be a little too drying on the face that's why I don't really bake anymore because I I have a lot of wrinkles under my eyes I just can't avoid it I have wrinkles under my eyes and I feel like if I bake that's really gonna just accentuate that and not be a good thing <laughs> so I just tend to go in with a little bit of powder just because I, I feel like I need to if I don't I just look like a sweaty greasy mess which I feel like I'm starting to get there but I if you're a person that doesn't go in and set and you like that dewy look a cream blush really enhances the look and makes everything look just like you have that natural flush I think I get it now I get it. I, I get cream blushes now. I can see myself wearing this especially, I mean, even with a look like this, an all matte face and the cream blush, but even if I were to go like super simple, maybe even not that much foundation, maybe not even foundation, just a little concealer to conceal the dark areas of the face and pop on a little bit of blush and highlight, this cream blush, wow, I get it. I really get, wow. Okay, let me go ahead and powder up my face. Let me go ahead and set my face and I'll come back with my thoughts. 
Okay guys, so this is the final look using the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Blushes. Now, I am thoroughly impressed. Like I said in the beginning, I never really used cream blushes before, so this was kind of like my first time using it. I wasn't really too excited about it just because, you know, it's something I've never used before. Um, so I didn't really have much hope for myself. That's probably what it was. I didn't have much hope for myself going in with this. Um, but yeah, I was very impressed with like how the application of the product applied to my face and it was smooth. The color was just enough where I could see it and it looked very natural and it didn't bother, it didn't like interfere with the foundation underneath, nothing picked up, nothing moved around. It just sat on the face very nicely and I don't know, I, I really like this. I'm super impressed by these. So I would say if you definitely have it in your budget and you want to try these out, I, I would definitely recommend it. But like I said, if this is just not for you and you just wanted to just enjoy uh, this video and see me playing in these and all that good stuff, there's that. But there's also drugstore options available. I'll pop some pictures up on the screen of some other options like the Milani drugstore blush um, that I showed you in the beginning. If you are just, you're just not willing to go out and spend the money on this, which is totally understandable, you guys have to do what works best for your budget. So with that being said, if you have the chance, if you have it in your budget and you do want to try this, I would recommend going out and um, picking at least one of these up. Find a color that you think you might like or something that if you watch a lot of videos on um, YouTube and you find someone that is kind of like your shade range and you like the shade that they tried and you feel like you want to try that out too, just pick that one up, you know? And if you don't like it, you can always return it, get your money back. I can't wait to do another look where I can try out the other two shades because this rose latte was, it's definitely in the running right now. And that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you made it this far with me to the end of the video, be sure to go ahead and leave me a heart emoji down below so I know that you made it here to the end with me. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And also don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you are notified when I do upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah.